sign contract with similar wording but limitations like related to the project ah yeah other than have the name of a different company yeah that's that's my that's been my experience until i went to altium it was always you know related things it was always something related to um the company except for <laughs> except for oh god but um what was their name what was their name? The, the guy who holds the world's num most number of patents, the Aussie Kia, Kia Silverbrook. That's right. Oh, God. Kia, <laughs> Kia Silverbrook, Aussie guy, right? Um, Silverbrook Research, right? So I'll, I'll tell you my Silverbrook Research um, story. Yeah, I'll tell you my Silverbrook Research story. Um, I was working at, I uh, wasn't working there. I, I went to an interview at um, Silverbrook uh, Research, w went for a job interview. I think there were three you know or was it, no yeah there were two interviews which i got through and then i got to the third one i think it was was with um kia silverbrook's right hand man because kia uh, anyway if you don't know um he is the he was at one point the largest individual patent holder in the world and because he just comes up with one idea and then he, he's got a team of in-house patent attorneys that just patent a hundred different ways to do the same thing and so he ends up, and his name's on every one of the patents. So he ends up with like, I don't know, you can go search, right? Go search for Kia Silverbrook and how many patents he's got. And um, yeah, it's it's crazy. It was this um, inkjet, Mem, Memjet um, ink printing technology or whatever. But that's what he's, um, the company's famous for. Um, and so I made it to the third interview. And... Keo Silverbrook's right-hand man interviewed every new person who worked there. All the engineers liked me and they go, oh, we really like it. And the engineers who liked me and wanted me were in this meeting too. So it was them and Keo Silverbrook's right-hand man. I, I can't remember his name. But anyway, it was very flat hierarchical structure. It was Keo Silverbrook, his right-hand man, and then everyone else. <laughs> anyway, so he had to be interviewed by him. And he's just sitting there and, and he goes, um, oh, something along the lines of you know because i had all the projects and stuff that i've done in my all my personal projects and my website and everything this is before the blog of course um you know and all my magazine projects and everything else and he says you know he's looking at me and look looking at my resume looking up at me you know and he didn't say anything and then finally he said uh, something along the lines of so you publish things and i went yeah something i enjoy doing and he goes and he just shakes his head like this and like, and he just kept shaking his head. Like he didn't, you know, so I'm going, I'm going, all right, I'll call his bluff. Right. And I'll start talking and I go, is there a problem with publishing stuff? And he goes, um, you know, something along the lines of yes, there is. And I go, well, obviously I wouldn't publish anything that has anything re related to the, the company, all the stuff I'm working on. And he shakes his head again. You know, and then I gave the example, well, what if I um, wrote a cookbook? you know, or wrote a gardening, a guide to gardening or something like that. Would that be okay? And he shook his head again. Nope. And I said, no. And by by this point, I, I knew I wasn't getting the job, right? I knew he was going to shit can me. And and all the other engineers, are, you can see that you know, I was watching the other engineers who wanted me and liked me. And they just went, oh, no, not again. Like, and that, that was the look on their faces like, oh, not again. Oh, no, he's going to shit can him. <laughs> So yes, I did get shit can because um, this guy was so this company was so paranoid that um, apparently they uh, hid they they hid how many employees they had they even hid how I, I believe I heard this story is that they hid like how much milk they buy like how much like stationery and consumables they buy lest anyone their competitors figured out how many staff they had and stuff like that super secret organization super paranoid and uh, yeah it was just. It was nuts. It was nuts. So yeah, yeah, he, they weren't happy with me doing anything at all outside of the company. <laughs> like I couldn't even write a gardening book. I couldn't even publish a gardening blog. And I'm going through all these examples with him, and he's just going, no, no, no. just <laughs> oh boy, you know, it's like thanks for your time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and they they hired the most PhD people in the country. They they you know if you had a PhD in anything related to any technology, they they just sucked you up. But they eventually went. Um, anyway, to end the story, they eventually uh went bust, 
um, because I can't remember, was it Canon? I think it was Canon. There was a patent dispute over who owned the patents. And Kia's name was on all these thousands of patents. And I think they got bought. I don't remember. I can't remember. Did they get bought out by Canon or they had to? Anyway, Kia lost. There was a lawsuit, I think. And Canon sued for the patents or something like that. And they won. So I think all the patents went to Canon, something like that. I, so I can't even remember what happened to um, Silverbrook Research. I wonder if they're still going. I'll do a uh, Silverbrook. <laughs> the first the first result is Kia Silverbrook dumps name as business gets thrashed in 2014. The Silverbrook name vanishes from the annals of history as famed Australian inventor makes a last-ditch switch to when research company, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. There's a Wikipedia page on Kia Silverbrook. Former Sydney entrepreneur, penalised. Um, genius or scoundrel? Patently, someone is wrong. <laughs> That's in the Sydney Morning Herald. Sorry, you're not looking at all these things. But, yeah, genius or scoundrel? That was 12 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, his goal was to have more patents than Thomas Anderson, and he did that. Wow, yeah, they, they had $610 million in uh, funding for their printing technology. Dave Jones cookbook. <laughs> yeah, you'd hate to work with a company with ideologies like that. Yeah, super secret. But apparently it was the duck's guts if you had a PhD. Like like they only hired like PhD and master's students. And I don't have a PhD or master's, so I'm not sure why they were. But the um the the hardware group liked me. The the main, I think that like the main hardware manager who um interviewed me really liked me. And then I came back for a second interview. And um, yeah, they, they really liked that I knew my stuff and, you know, I was keen and everything else. I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, they liked me, but nope, shit canned by Kia Silverbrook's right hand man. Yeah, patent trolling. Yeah. Yeah, holds about 10,000 US patents. Yeah, that's nuts. I, d I don't know if he holds them anymore. Well, I don't know. Can you, like, I guess his name's still on it, but you can own the patent, but his name is still attributed to it, I guess. That's how it works.